What's up YouTube, it's Angie the Neon X and I'm back. And today is just a farewell to one of the better budget phones that Samsung has released in recent memory. The S20 FE. Now everybody scream no respect to the X. No respect given. Now, I only made, I think, one video about this phone uh, when I happened to just pop into a T-Mobile and they gave it to me free. I didn't even know that was a thing and I was completely shocked that I went out to get milk and came back with a brand new phone. Good times and all things like that still exist. I haven't been able to take advantage of any of those deals. But yeah, this was the last one that I did, what, two e years ago? And I just want to give it its due. Um, for a while there, this was my go-to phone. The size, the shape, everything of th this phone really gave you uh, all the features of the S20 in a more up or at a more affordable price point. Um, with the addition of, and this is something I forgot to mention then, but I, I have to mention now. This thing had expandable memory. You had your SIM card, and as I was preparing this thing, to ship back to Samsung, I forgot that I had a 128 gig SD card in there. So, if memory serves, that would make this the last Samsung phone, to my knowledge, except maybe those extreme ones. I know they have some more extreme phones out there, the X cover and such, that um may or may not have SD card capability. I'm not exactly sure, but this phone, the S20 FE was, the, as far as I know, the last phone to have SD expansion. Maybe the age, I really do need to look in into that. I've never had one of the A phones before. Maybe they do too. But um, I happened to check the S21 FE just yes, yes, today. And in instead of a SIM card or a SD card expansion, their little slot said SIM card one and two, so a dual SIM phone. No problem with that, especially if you travel overseas, having the abil ability to pop in a SIM card from a another carrier while you're away is definitely a feature that many need when doing uh, international travels. Or even here, at home, you may have more than one number one for work, one one for home, one for the boys, one for your girlfriends, whatever it is. Having more than one SIM card in your phone without having to rely on eSIM is, you know, actually a good thing to have. So, um, not trying to knock the S21 FE. I hear it's a very good phone, but I do still prefer the S20 FE. It had the 120 hertz re fresh rate, had amazing cameras for the price point, had a really good build, a really good feel, and it had SD card expansion. I kind of forgot that was a thing with this phone, but I haven't used it in about a year. Uh, I love the phone so much that I did not put a case on it. I just loved how it felt, and one day just me uh, being non- nonchalant I opened my car door not realizing that the, the phone was on my leg and it, it just fell face down and the screen cracked now it's not the worst crack well you can't even see where it is but it is cracked uh, can I get that on camera not really I can't angle it where you, where you guys can see it well enough but it is cracked in uh, three lines going across so the screen is in three distinct portions Top, middle and bottom that's just how the cracks went and when I went to get it repaired the price to repair the phone was more than I could buy it for on e on eBay used I mean that to me this is a used phone to buy it used is just the better deal because it was cheaper than getting the screen fixed so Samsung did offer me a decent price for it even with the crack screen and so this as well as my wife's Z Flip 3 are going back to Samsung for the bundle deal of the Z Flip 4, the Galaxy Watch 5, and these fancy, smancy new AirBuds 2 Pro. 
for Galaxy Buds 2 Pro uh, for a very good price, uh, saving a good thousand plus dollars on that bundle simply because we're trading in two phones. So I do want to say that the S20 FE, if you're looking for a budget Samsung device, I can vouch for the A line of phones. I know that those are on the cheaper end and S lines, even the FE version of those S lines are very good phones. I would actually recommend the S20 FE over the S21 FE just for the SD card expansion alone because you you get a lower end model. This one had one 128 and my SD card had one 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 twenty eight. So I had 200 plus gigs just like that, what, 256 something like that without having to spend the upgrade price because that SD card was dirt cheap on Amazon. So. To save yourself a little money, if you're looking for a budget phone, I can recommend the S20 FE because this phone, the only reason I stopped using it was because the screen's cracked. And I think it was around the same time, uh, I think the Z, Z Fold 3 was coming out. So when the screen's cracked, I kind of used whatever other phone I had because I have a few and when I got the Fold, well, I just switched over to that. And this was just placed in my drawer of phones and every now and then it came out just to be looked at and again to check how much to fix the, the screen of it but um yes s20 fe very good phone uh i do think samsung should go back to doing uh the the fe line from what i read they, they may not do it s22 fe uh i don't know why i for i don't know if they sell well maybe they began to cannibalize the a line of phone because those are supposed to be the cheaper end or for the more budget conscious when it, it comes to uh samsung phones and the fe lines were kind of cutting into that i can see how that could happen but they are they, they are priced around the same thing depending on which a line you go with and at the same time the fe lines are also priced close to the new generation of phones if you if you're with a low-end s that's s22 the s21 fe is maybe a hundred 100 bucks less if even that so you just go with the s22 for the better cameras and all of the features that the s22 has to offer so um yeah i can see where or why they might stop with the fe line because it, it, it was a where line and its place kind of oddly between the budget and the high end and depending on the price point it kind of doesn't make sense to go one way or the or it makes more sense to go one way or the other but I do want to give the at least the s20 FE it's due it was a great device great features I thought that I got it free it, it, it was just even that much better and no issues with the phone still have no issues with the phone it's just not being used and I can get, like I said, a very good deal on newer devices and earbuds and watches and things like that if I give up one of my devices, well, and my wife's device as well. She's giving in her Z Flip 3 because she really likes the bespoke Z Flip 4. I did do a video on the on unboxing of that. Even I was surprised how amazing that, that phone looked. Um, this is a great purple. And you know me, I love purple, you can tell. But uh, that bespoke of the Z Fold 4 just blows this phone out of the water, looks wise. And being that it is the newer version of this, not that many differences, but there are some, and they're good enough to make it, you know, a decent upgrade if you're coming from a Z Flip or Z, Z Flip 5G. Not so much the Z Flip 3, but there are there is enough there that if you can trade in your z flip 3 and get a deal like i'm getting then you know it is what it is you won't be disappointed in the upgrade and that's what matters you will enjoy the four just as much as z3 if not more so yeah this was just really a video about this and i brought this in just you know to explain the deal a bit more but yeah z not even as a shoot. Um, S20 FE, one of the better budget phones that I, I have used. 
I en enjoyed using it very much. I can still recommend it. Hell, I'm probably going to buy it, buy it back at some point, perhaps in a different color. And uh, just have it there for use when I need a an extra device. It's not a bad phone to have at all, especially at the price you can get it it for now, just over a hundred bucks if you look hard enough. So, with that said, saying goodbye to my S20 FE and also to my wife's Z Flip 3. This is what I'm into.